Hey everyone, Mitchell from MitchellGould.com and in today's video we're going to be going over the LinkedIn ads audience section. So we're going to cover what match audiences are, what saved audiences are, and how you can use the insight tab to look at your audiences in more depth and take a look at that within the campaign manager as well. So I have a few slides that we'll hop through first and then we'll go into the campaign manager. So what are match audiences? They're audiences that you can create by uploading a company or contact list, by retargeting. There's a lot of different retargeting options that we'll look at in a couple of slides, or you can create predictive audiences. And then we have saved audiences, which are audiences you build using LinkedIn's attributes like job function, job seniority, um, job titles. And then you can save those audiences and use them across campaigns. You can also see the audience insights as you're building these, which is really helpful. And you essentially use these to build your ideal customer profile. And then taking a look at the match audience options, like I mentioned, there are a lot of retargeting options. You can retarget by how members engage with your company page, if they engage with the conversation ad, any of your document ads, um, did they click attend on an event? You can retarget by that. If they opened a, le a lead gen form or if they submitted a lead gen form, you can create retargeting audiences for those. And also with how they interacted with your video and single image ads. So I'll do a, a, a video with more in depth explanation of these different retargeting audiences. But for example, with video, you can retarget um, people who watch a certain percentage of your video. And you can also retarget website visitors. So if you installed the insight tag on your website, you can track uh, the page views and create audiences based off of different pages. And then you can also use that for retargeting. For the upload a list option, you can upload a company or a contact list in the match audience section. And then there's predictive audiences that are somewhat similar to lookalike audiences, but it's essentially expanding the reach and finding people similar to um, some base data that you provide LinkedIn. So those are all the different match audience options. I have a video that I'll put up here for the upload a list option. And in future videos, I'll go more in depth into predictive audiences and retargeting audiences as well. Now we'll look at how you can use these match audiences in your strategy. So if you have traffic coming to your site, if you have other ads running, you can create those retargeting buckets, which are great for moving people through your funnel or continuing to showcase your experience and um, what you do and seeing in front of that audience that may be already engaged through another pay channel like Google search or they came in off of organic. You can use that retargeting layer to stay in front of those prospects and continue to put messages in front of them that will move them along in the strategy that you and the actions that you want them to take. Uh, you can use the company and contact list for account based marketing. So if you have a particular set of, you know, dream accounts, accounts you're currently trying to close um, and other, you know, different account based marketing segments, you can upload those and put particular messages in front of the audience for those lists. And the other important thing I wanna note here is that um, you can further segment match audiences based off of LinkedIn's attributes. So if you have a lot of traffic and a lot of um, members in your retargeting audience, you can further narrow that down by you know, say job title. So you can have anyone who visited your site in the last 90 days, who's also, uh, for example, a HR manager. And then you can put you know, a particular message, a particular creative in front of that audience. And overall, it just helps with the relevancy and getting in front of the right people and um, making that retargeting more granular and more effective. So those are ways that you can use the match audiences. The retargeting layer is very effective for continuing to stay in front of prospects and push them through the funnel. And the company and contact list can be great for account-based marketing and also for your cold awareness prospecting ads. Now let's go into campaign manager and we're gonna take a look at the audience section. So we'll click plan audiences and you'll see you have the match section and the save section. So in the match section, 
is where you can create the audiences. So you can upload a company or contact list. You can at, um, create the retargeting audiences by page, by the different audiences that we just reviewed, single image ads, people who watch a percentage of your video. You can create predictive audiences. And then if you click the saved audience section, so you can click create audience and it will bring you in this view. You can begin looking at the different attributes to build your ideal customer profile. For example, we'll go into job experience and look at job titles and we'll type HR manager. So we have human resource manager, senior human resources manager. It'll bring up additional suggested job titles. So we can click a few of these um, just as a, you know, a real basic example here. And then we can click close. So in this example, we're targeting the US, the profile language of English, the job titles of their current position are any of these. And then we could further narrow that down so we can make that audience even smaller. And we can do that by taking out some other a look at some other attributes. So say we want to target a company size and we can go into company size and we just want to target, you know, mid-sized companies. So um, maybe in this case, we are just looking at um, our product, you know, looks to help with companies in the 50 to 500 employee range. So we'll click that and you can further narrow or exclude different attributes. And we can see here, we have an audience size of 170,000. I'll create another video about audience sizes and what the ideal audience size is. But for this example, we'll go ahead and just click apply. And then we can see over here in the left section, this is the insights for this audience. We can see the content. It gives the general interest of this audience that we have over here. It gives us the locations at the city level. We can look at the job functions that these job titles at these company size fall into. We can look at the years of experience and we can also take a look at some of the different company attributes. So you can further refine this, get it to a place where you feel like you're targeting your ideal customer profile. And then you can save this audience by going save and you can give it a name and save that. If we go into the audience section of a campaign, we can then go to saved audiences and click that and we'll click our HR managers. And then that will add our saved audience here. So we can see we have the saved audience and yeah, use that for your campaign. So that's just a basic overview of how you could use the matched and saved audiences. And then in, back in the matched audience section, if you have a, a matched audience that has over 300 members and also is active or in the ready status, you can click on that audience and you'll go into the, the definition of that audience. And then you can go to this insights tab and it will show that similar insights view that we were looking at for the saved audience, but for your uh, particular matched audience. So you can go through there and take a look at the insights and see how it lines up with what you were expecting. If you need to further narrow the audience or make any additional changes, you can review that. So that's an overview of the audience section and how you can use the different audiences and how you can create them. If you have any questions about it, please put them in the comment section and I'll be happy to answer them. And thank you for watching and have a great day.